Ah, welcome, weary traveler of the cosmos, to the factory of Eternal Glow, a top-secret facility hidden on a planet that orbits a blacklight sun. This is not your average factory. Oh, no. This is where the galaxy's most coveted artifacts are born. Glow sticks. Yes, the humble glow stick, that fragile wand of liquid luminescence, has a story more bizarre and thrilling than you ever imagined. Allow me, your galactic narrator, to illuminate its origins. It begins deep in the Glitter Nebula, where asteroids made of crystallized unicorn tears are mined by space otters in mechanized suits. These tears are the primary ingredient in a substance called Luminax 5000, the glowing core of every stick. Once harvested, the tears are shipped to the Glow Stick Nexus on a fleet of cargo ships piloted by highly trained moon bats. You don't mess with a moon bat, they hold grudges for millennia. The factory itself is a marvel of alien engineering. Picture this, a massive cylindrical station that floats in zero gravity, powered by the laughter of sentient jellyfish. Inside, robotic arms, each with names like Dave and Karen, mix the ingredients with the precision of a thousand mathematicians doing synchronized algebra. Luminax 5000 is combined with oxydrillium, a reactive liquid sourced from volcanoes on the planet Glorp. This chemical cocktail is then funneled into glowing vats that hum ominously, as if they know secrets you don't. Now, the plastic tubes, ah, those aren't made from ordinary earth polymers. No, they're forged from the exoskeletons of extinct beetle kings, melted down and reshaped into perfect cylinders by machines that communicate entirely through interpretive dance. This dance, by the way, is broadcast across the galaxy as an avant-garde reality show called So You Think You Can Mold. The real magic, however, happens in the Chamber of Cracks, where tiny glass vials of hydrogen peroxide are inserted into each tube. These vials are carefully grown in a laboratory run by hyper-intelligent mushrooms who moonlight as philosophers. The vials are slid into the tubes by plasma-fueled pincers and sealed with a laser so precise it once cut a comet in half just to prove a point. And then comes the activation test. Every tenth glow stick is chosen by an ancient AI-powered entity called the Inspector of Radiance. It cracks the stick, shakes it with the enthusiasm of a child at their first rave, and holds it up to its glowing cyclopean eye. If the stick meets its rigorous standards, the batch is approved. If not, the entire lot is thrown into a wormhole leading directly to a dimension populated entirely by discarded glow sticks. It's a sad place. They don't like to talk about it. Finally, the glow sticks are packaged by a swarm of nanobots who, for reasons unknown, play 90s techno music while they work. The boxes are then loaded onto hover sleds piloted by creatures that look suspiciously like Earth cats, except they wear goggles and speak fluent Esperanto. These glow sticks are then distributed across the galaxy, finding their way to raves, birthday parties, and intergalactic peace summits where they're used to negotiate treaties under the soothing influence of their bioluminescent glow. So the next time you crack open a glow stick, remember, it's more than just a party favor. It's a cosmic artifact born from the tears of unicorns, the wisdom of mushrooms, and the precision of a factory that exists outside of time and space. And hey, while you're here, subscribe to my channel. It's the least you can do after learning about the secret history of glow sticks. Plus, I promise not to send moon bats to your house. Probably.